Hey, um, today I was just going to talk about um, some of the ways that my body changed after I had gotten my implants. And I'm not going to focus on, um, you know, like health stuff and how I felt or any of my many ailments. I just, I'm not doing that. What I'm going to do is just simply focus on looks. This is like a weird angle. Ah, bright light. <laughs> All right. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, so prior to getting my implants and some of this is like recap. If you've watched any of my other videos, you've already heard me say some of this stuff. I'm going to say some new stuff. I'm going to say some things that I experienced and things that were said about me. Although just to remind you what thing, what people say about you behind your back ain't none of your business. But I'm just going to share some things. Um, this has just been very cathartic for me. I don't normally talk a whole lot about me. Um, and, you know, probably nobody's ever going to watch this video. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, it's been cathartic. It's been, uh, it's been very therapeutic. So, whatever. Uh... When I went in for my breast implants, I was 129 pounds. I had uh, an A cup and a double A. They were not even. Um, the rest of my figure was great. I mean, I was really happy with my body. I think I was uh, going into surgery. I was probably like maybe a 32... My waist was probably like a 28 and my hips were probably like a 40 something. I don't know. Maybe like 45 or whatever. Like I was curvier. I wasn't really thin. Um, but like I had no cellulite. I had really soft, beautiful golden skin because I used to tan. Like I do not recommend tanning, but I'm just saying that's what I did at the time. And, um, like really soft skin and, you know, I was 28, like I didn't have any wrinkles or anything. Actually, I had some like little fine lines here and I think that was because I used to tan so much and maybe I just wasn't as hydrated. Um, I probably have the same amount as, uh, of lines now. I've been very lucky in that. Uh, a lot of women that have implants notice premature aging. And I don't think I have experienced that. Uh, but I've, I've also stayed like really, really hydrated because one of the things I was dealing with was that I was always thirsty. Hence water. Um, so I got them done and I was a 34 double D afterwards. And my body before, if I gained weight, I would always get it like in my butt and my thighs and my hips. I mean, that's just where I gained weight. I always had this like little tiny waist. Um, I always, you know, I had like nipples on rib cage. I mean, that's all that was there. And my arms didn't really gain weight. My arms were just like nicely toned. And all of that shifted and changed. After I got my boobs done, the very first place I began gaining weight was my, in my belly, like belly fat. And it changed the shape. So instead of having like more like a smaller waist and coming out, I was getting more like straight looking where everything was sort of the same size as my hips. Um, like, it went in from the back, but I definitely had, like, this pooch going on that I'd never had before. And <laughs> sorry. And uh, the other thing was my arms were getting, like, bigger and flabby. Uh, the more weight I gained, I just kept getting it in these weird places. Um, 
Then the other weird thing that happened, at one point I resorted, now I don't recommend this, but I was getting married and I resorted to like taking Adderall, which was the worst possible thing I could have ever done because it completely depleted my adrenals. And then when I got off Adderall, because I just hated the way I felt on it, I put on way more weight than I had ever put on prior to that. And uh, that's when I really peaked. And um, I, I lost all this weight very quickly before the wedding. I think I was on Adderall for like two months and I probably lost like 30 pounds. Like it was just crazy. That stuff, it, I mean, it just makes you feel like a crackhead. And, you know, I was expecting to kind of go back to the way I was where in the past, whenever I would lose weight, I would lose the fat and I would have like really good muscle tone underneath and I still felt pretty strong and at the time my husband and I owned um, like a nightclub bar kind of thing and like I'm always lifting like cases of beer and cases of water like I was not like I was active and I felt like I was pretty strong and I thought when I lost all this weight I would reveal um, some decent muscle tone underneath and instead I was mush like I had lost so much muscle and uh it was weird it was really weird uh I remember like putting a garter on for my wedding and just like feeling like it was just like squeezing my leg and I like fat hanging over it and I remember trying on different gloves to wear and like some of them were kind of snug here and it was just like all this fat it was just it was just gross I it was just insane um so those are some ways that I, I really noticed some dramatic differences and then of course the other big difference I noticed was my skin my skin texture really changed that was also one of the very first symptoms my legs were super itchy the skin was like thick and dry I can never get a close shave never it just like how can I explain it it's almost like my skin was thick and it's like that and then like imagine like a hair coming out so you'd shave it but it was like on top of that thick skin so you cut the hair like that short so you'd always feel it but you couldn't get the razor down like it wasn't like the hair was growing like this it was like this does that make sense I don't know but I could never get a close shave and you know I used to joke around with my husband I'm like well you know you're married to an Italian now what are you gonna do uh, we grow hair fast but it wasn't even that like I would get right out of the shower um, and I would shave like two three times in the shower and it just didn't matter it just always felt gross um, and then besides that, the other big thing was the inflammation and I'm, I'm still dealing with inflammation. It's so frustrating. I felt like I had some of it under control for a while and maybe I'll discuss that in another video and why I lost control of that. And it's crazy because it was all under the supervision of an endocrinologist and when I had things normalized he was like get off of everything you're taking because I want to get accurate blood work and then it threw everything off and now I, I can't get back I, I haven't been able to get back under control um but my face has changed a lot and I did talk about this in another video and I'm just gonna be real like so I mean I have small eyes but they're like poofy like my eyelids changed and sometimes they crease and hang over and yes you could say that is from age but it's like a poofiness it's really weird um I don't know my eyebrows like one whole part of my face is just like shifted this is all so swollen I have no jawline anymore nothing like you used to be able to see all this now some of this is from weight gain but even when I lose the weight now like you can see there's like a lot of like poof right here and here and there's a lot of inflammation here and it because of I had a deviated septum but it kind of like pushes it to the side and I have like these circles under my eyes and this poofiness and um, 
my face just doesn't look like my face anymore. I should, man, I should show you guys some pictures. Like, I was cute. I'm a mess. Anyway. Um, let's see, what else has changed? I don't know. I guess those are like the big things. You know, it. it's funny because, I mean, it's not funny. It sucks. But like, you go into a surgery because of vanity and you want to feel good and you want to feel beautiful and feminine and all of these things. And so you get the boobs. And when you go into surgery, like when I went into surgery, all I needed were boobs in my mind. I mean, I'm sure there are people that looked at me and were like, man, but I was really happy with myself. And, um, for about, <laughs> this is what's crazy. For about three months, I looked the way I'd always wanted to look. I had the body I wanted. I had the face I wanted. And I had the boobs to go with it. And after three months, the symptoms started. And the weight gain started. And the skin, the dry, itchy, awful skin started. My face gets so dry. I finally found something that's working pretty well, but I have to apply it like two, three times a day. I use like CeraVe, uh, both to wash my face and moisturize. And, um, my face gets so red and irritated and poofy and gross. Um, even my hands will get like really red and dry and tight feeling and itchy and, um, the belly fat, like, not only is it there, but it's not smooth. Like, you see some girls that got, you know, they're a little thick around the midsection. Um, and they could get away with wearing certain things. Uh -uh. No, I, I hide this. It's, I'm really self-conscious about it. And, um, you know, I paid all this money. And you know, for three months. It was like two grand a month to feel pretty. And then it's gone. And I'm more insecure than I ever was before. And I feel I'm way less attractive than that girl that went into surgery that had a great figure and great skin and itty bitty titties. So the good news is um, from what I've seen, a lot of women that have their implants explanted, the inflammation just, they go back. And I, that was another thing that scared me for a long time. I was like, well, you know, if I have them taken out, where's the guarantee that all of these things are going to go away? Like what, I mean, am I still going to look like this? But now with like little boobs, like, no, I'll just hold on to my boobs. Forget it. Like at least one thing looks good on me. Um, but I've seen time and time again, these amazing success, success stories where people get their, their looks and their skin and their life back and the inflammation goes down and they lose weight. And I'm hoping that's what happens with me. And even if it doesn't, even if I just feel better, I'm going to be happy because, you know, I just had another daughter, um, it was six months before my 40th birthday. I had her. And there's a big difference having a child when you're 40 and when you are in your 20s and even my teens. I, I had my first when I was 17. And just feeling like I have the energy and the drive and the interest and the confidence in my body and my body's abilities to participate in things that you want to do with your children. Like you want to run and you want to play and you want to throw them around and go swimming and hiking and, you know, just do lots of fun things. And when you're not feeling well and you feel weak and tired and your muscle tone is leaving and, you know, you have extra weight on you and even just your center of gravity when you have extra weight on you, like everything shifts and changes and, I remember going camping with my kids, um, I don't know how many years ago, maybe like four years ago or something. And I remember like 
we went to these waterfalls. It was just absolutely beautiful. And I was not comfortable like jumping off this cliff because I didn't want to get down to my bathing suit in front of people. And like that was just holding me back. And I remember walking on the rocks and just like feeling like really unsteady and my equilibrium and just not having that confidence. Like I would just, I mean, I'd climb things and run around and do all this crazy stuff before these. And I would have never thought that they would have held me back from that. But they have. I just don't, I don't trust my body's capabilities like I used to. And not because she's let me down, but because I've let her down. And I just want you to think about those things. And think about... Would you trade everything you currently have that you love about your looks just for some cute boobs? You know, get a padded bra. Get a fat transfer, okay? I looked into fat transfers back in 2007 and 2008, and it was like not a thing. Or maybe just very few surgeons were doing it. Or maybe there's more money in implants and maybe that's I don't know but like I looked into fat transfer and it was like that was just not a thing people like oh yeah it'd be so cool if they could do that well now they can and no you're not going to get this huge remarkable result but if you are self-conscious because maybe you don't have quite the volume or elasticity because you had children a fat transfer can help with that a lift you have options okay you don't just have to put these foreign objects in your body there are different things that you can do so look into it and speak with a good surgeon and see what your options are and talk to your friends and join Facebook groups and follow hashtags on Instagram and reach out to people people are talking and I, I would have absolutely no issue with someone contacting me and saying, you know, tell me about this. Can I talk to you? Of course you can. I, that's why I'm making these videos because I'm more than willing to share my story and you deserve to hear it. And I don't want you to make a mistake. And if you do, I want you to realize what that mistake was as soon as possible so you can correct it. So I wish you health and wealth and happiness and all those great things. And if you have any questions, hit me up. Later.